like to take a few minutes to show what next-gen network management looks like. And managing next-gen networks starts with a comprehensive geospatial system that offers a services-based architecture with multiple base maps and geospatial content, both 2D as well as 3D mapping capabilities, and the ability to manage and model your physical networks as close to reality as possible. Engineering and operations want to be able to design against and see all of their physical networks in one location, both fixed line and wireless, and model different network levels and tiers from national to regional backbones through to distribution and the access networks. Now, next-gen network management is not only about visualizing your complete network in one location, but also modeling network structures and equipment as digital twins, much like the cell tower we see here. A digital twin of the network offers a realistic view of network assets and access to information about those assets, but it also models the relationships and connectivity of the network. For example, let's say we want to answer the question of how we are serving this cell tower via this microwave receiver. To answer this question, we'll run an upstream network trace to see how this site is connected within the network. As this network trace completes, we see a few assets on our map that are highlighted and selected. And if we look at our selection tree view, we'll also see the network inventory that has been selected. Now let's zoom in to the upstream tower serving our original cell site, where we can see the microwave antenna that has been selected. And panning out shows us the highlighted fiber backhaul, which we can then follow all the way back to our central office. Or we can simply zoom right there by selecting the central office from our selection tree. Now, the results of this upstream network trace have not only traversed through wireless and fiber outside plant assets, but right into the inside plant world as well. Using the same comprehensive geospatial system, we can integrate CAD and building information models and visualize our central offices and data centers, floor by floor. Viewing the main data hall on floor two shows us the selected rack based on our previous upstream network trace, all within 3D. Now, detailed floor plans are one element to inside plant management, but so is rack space management and the ability to easily pull up rack views. Here is rack 23 diagram for the network switch serving those wireless sites. And from our network trace results, we can propagate our selection to this rack view to see which ports and the switch our fibers terminate at. Now, these diagram views also provide two-way interaction. For example, we'll select our network switch and then propagate the selection to our map. And from there, I'll run a downstream network trace. So we can then run a dark fiber report on all of the fibers being served out of this location. When the trace is completed, we'll go ahead and open up our dark fiber report. Here are all of the strands available and filtering this report based on our trace results 
presents to us a breakdown of the strand availability. So what does next-gen network management mean? It means modeling your physical networks, no matter the network technology, outside plant and inside plant, as close to reality as possible within a comprehensive geospatial system, ArcGIS.